Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today is market day for me so I thought I would do another little market day vlog slash what I'm stocking because it is summer here in Australia so this is a Christmas slash summer themed market and to be honest I really struggled with things to make like ideas on things to make for this summer market so I'm gonna run you through exactly what I'm stocking in case you guys are struggling too and then of course I will take you through the whole day show you my setup show you a little bit about the market give a quick review and then I will tell you guys exactly what sold uh, what my best sellers were what didn't sell and yeah and just a brief rundown of the day so if that's something you're interested in just keep on watching all right, so first of all, I've got these coasters. You probably have seen them in some of my previous videos. They still haven't sold, but I'm just gonna chuck them on my table anyway. You just never know when they might sell, so it's worth just having them on my table. Then I've got my face scrubbies, which are basically reusable makeup wipes. I will tag the patterns for everything down below, so if there is something that you're interested in making, just check the um, description down below and I will tag all the patterns. These are just some dishcloths slash face washes. Again, you've probably seen them in some of my previous videos, but again, I thought I would just chuck them on my table. You never know when they might sell. Then I saw this idea on, I think, a Facebook group. Um, a lady had these baubles that open up and that you can put things inside. So I have put two scrunchies in each bauble. So they're just a cute little stocking filler or something that, um, you know, can be hung off the tree as a small gift. So I thought that was a cute idea. So thank you to whoever gave me that idea. I can't remember who it was or what Facebook page it was on, but amazing idea. So I thought I would give that a go. Not sure how they're gonna sell, but we'll see. Sorry, just don't mind my mess over here. Um, <laughs> Then I've got some baskets that I've made in a Christmassy red color. I don't know if you can see those is kind of glittery as well. So they could be cute to put some gifts or something in under the tree um, or just use for everyday storage. Then I've got some pencil holders that I made out of the same yarn as these baskets, but I've put in a, I guess you could say upcycled tin can. So they're kind of cute. Um, I think they would make like great teachers gifts um, something that they can put on their desk to put all their pens and pencils and things in again I've got my hand towels with the addition of a few Christmassy designs which are really cute hopefully they'll sell um, these as you know if you've watched any of my other videos these are always my best sellers so I was sure to make quite a few of those then up here, as you can see, I've got a bit of a new addition to my setup, which is this cute little rack. I got this rack from Kmart. It was on clearance for $20, so you probably can't still get it, but I'm sure you could find something pretty similar at any kind of department store or any store similar to Kmart. Big W even might have them. Um, and I've just got a couple of little tops hanging up. This is one of my new patterns that I'm gonna be bringing out soon. Um, one in Christmas themed and then one just normal. I have nowhere near as many um, hanging things as I would have liked. I was hoping to have this rack completely full, but I just ran out of time. And with working full time and everything, I could only do what I could do. So anyway, I was thinking that maybe I could just have these as like display ones. And then if people did want to order something in a different size, I could just take orders on the day. Anyway, we'll see what happens. These are, of course, my Dear Debbie jumpers. They're both in size two. This is my Christmas themed one. If, again, if you follow me on social media, you probably would have seen this already and probably this one as well. So they are obviously super cute. Uh, what else do I have? Down here, I've made one of a crafty concepts uh, crafty boho Christmas stocking. I've only got one of those. I'm hoping to whip up another one uh, before the market tonight, but we'll see. It just depends how much time I have once again. And another crafty concept pattern are these rainbow rattles. They're super duper cute. Um, another crafty concept pattern. Uh, this is actually supposed to be an earring pattern, but I've made them into key rings. Um, again, if you've watched any of my previous videos, you would have probably seen these before. Then of course, I've just got a few extra loose scrunchies. I'm hoping to make a few more of those 
before the market tonight as well. And then even though it's summer, I thought I would just put on these twist headbands because you just never know. Someone might want something for someone that lives overseas where it is winter or might be going away to somewhere where it's cold and might want to buy one. So I thought, why not? I might as well just chuck them on there. Um, and that's about it. So this is a quick little look at my setup. A little bit different to what I've had before it's not complete I've got a few like decorations and my banner and stuff to still go up but I thought I'd give you guys a little sneaky peek this is just something I set up last night just to have a look and see uh, that my table wasn't gonna look completely bare so it doesn't which is good but yeah this is my setup for today so I'm all packed up I'm in the car and I'm ready to go um, hopefully it's a good day today it's about a 45 minute drive so I've got a little while till I get there but yeah, hopefully it's good. Hopefully everyone's there to do their Christmas shopping. That would be nice. Um, but yeah, we'll see. Let's go, guys. So another market down, I've just packed up and I've got all my stuff in the bag. Um, I'm about to head home, but first I'm gonna go past McDonald's and get dinner because I'm absolutely starving. Today was a good day, it was really fun. I sold a few things, which was nice. I made back my stall fee, which is always a good thing. Um, I was really happy with my setup today. Again, my hand towels were definitely my best seller. I think I should just start up a stall and just sell hand towels because I say, seem to sell so many of them every single time I do a market. But yeah, it was a really good day. It was really fun. So the market I did today is in like a small country town by the name of, of Whittlesea. So it's like super chilled. Everyone is super duper friendly. It's a very small market, but everyone is so nice and so fun so yeah it was a really good day alrighty so my market was a few days ago now but I'm just gonna film this little video and take you guys through how the day went what sold best what didn't sell and I'll give you a quick review of the market so basically the market that I went to a couple of days ago on Friday it was a twilight market it was the Whittlesea link up market now for those of you who don't know which is going to be most of you Whittlesea is like a small country town just outside of Melbourne um, in Victoria, Australia. Now, I have been to this market before. It is very, very small, but in saying that, I have been there twice now and both times I've had so much fun. Everyone there is so, so friendly. Um, the customers and storeholders, everyone is so nice. And basically, it's just a big social event. Because it is such a small market, I didn't sell a lot. I did make back my stall fee, which was $40. So I made more than $40, which was obviously a good thing because I made back my stall fee, so I wasn't out of pocket. 
um, for the stall. But I just wanted to say that it is very small. It is a very small market, but at the same time, it was lots and lots of fun. I am thinking that next year they're hoping to expand a little bit and become a little bit bigger because when we got the flyer for the dates for next year, they have they are moving to a different location so I can only assume that that location will be bigger so stay tuned because next year the Whittlesea link up market may be a whole lot bigger and better now as promised I'm gonna take you through what sold best for me and of course at the very top of the list was my hand towels they always sell really well for me at every market I've done in saying that I haven't done a whole heap of markets but at every market I've done so far the hand towels have been my number one bestseller I will tag the or link the pattern that I use down below but you could honestly use any hand towel pattern um, and when I say hand towel I mean tea towel toppers I guess you would probably call it it's um, when you get a tea towel fold it in half you crochet along the top and then they can hang it up and you use it to dry your hands so that was my number one seller it has been my number one bestseller at every market I've done so if you are looking at doing a market whether it be a summer market a winter market a spring or autumn market I definitely recommend making some hand towels now this year or at this market I should say I did some Christmas themed hand towels which sold really well um, because it is coming up to Christmas and it was a Christmas themed market I thought I would do some Christmas themed tea towels and yeah they sold really well so that was my number one bestseller Number two were my scrunchies. At my last market, they didn't seem to sell very well, but at this market, they actually sold quite well. I sold quite a few single scrunchies, and then I also sold um, a couple of the baubles as well. So I didn't so sell all of my baubles. I think I had about six, so I've got about four left over. Um, I probably would stock them again at another Christmas market maybe next year or in the future because I think they are a really cute gift idea. As I mentioned, this was a really, really small market. It's probably a bit of an older crowd. I think if I went to a market that was a bit more of a younger demographic and a bit busier, I think the baubles would, would have sold really well. So I would definitely recommend stocking them if that's something that you think you might be interested in doing because I think if you were at a really busy market that targeted a younger crowd, they would, re they would sell really well. And number three on my best selling list were my face scrubbies. I sold a couple of those and in saying that, Everything that I've just named, so my hand towels, my scrunchies, and my face scrubbies, they're the three things that I sold. That's all I sold. Nothing else on my table sold, which is fine. Again, as I said, it was a very small market with an older demographic. I feel like my stock is very much targeted to a younger crowd. I try and, you know, keep up with trends and do stuff that is trendy, whereas the crowd at this market were a bit of an older crowd and maybe didn't really see the logic or understand where I was coming from in regards to my stock because it is targeted to a younger crowd. Um, but in saying that, they were my three top sellers, my hand towels, my scrunchies and my face scrubbies. So that pretty much sums up everything. I hope you guys found this video useful and hopefully you can get a few ideas on what to stock at your summer market because as I've mentioned, I really, really struggled coming up with what to stock at a summer market because again, crochet to me is more targeted to a winter audience or to winter items. Um, and when I was coming up with stock for my winter market, I had no issues at all. But then when I agreed to do this summer market, I was kind of like, oh, what am I gonna stock? Cause I can't really stock beanies and headbands and scarves and winter things like that because it's summer no one's going to want to buy them but hopefully you guys found this video useful thank you so much for watching and if you would like to see more videos like this don't forget to subscribe or give me a thumbs up so i know that you guys are enjoying it and i can continue to make the videos that you guys like to see thanks again guys i hope you have a great day bye